the sound of my voice and within a good driving distance of Rock Game, you got to come out here and see these guys. They put on a heck of a show. And as we said, a lot of the big up-and-coming talent. Kyle Larson's been in a truck this year. He's been in Arca cars, you name it. He's always done really well, and a lot of people have their eye on him and a lot of these other drivers that are out here as well. And we'll keep working our way down here. Brian Ortiz has some experience here in an ASA car back when it was the Sunoco National Tour. And I have to ask you, Brian, real quick as we work our way down the line, You've got laps here. That helps. Does it help in one of these cars at all? Well, it's not the same, but uh, definitely as soon as I went out of the track, I knew uh, what to expect from the track because uh, it's the only track in the whole year that I've been able to, to race before. So it was it, it was something good. It showed we were second and third on practice. Um, the qualifying wasn't that good. The car hit really hard the track, but I think we have a very, very good car for tomorrow. Well, best of luck to you. That's, Bri that's Brian Ortiz. He'll be rolling off. If memory serves me, uh, probably about top ten or so. I don't have the grid in front of me. They all kind of run together after a while, if you know what I mean. But we'll work our way down here. Jorge Ortega, Sergio Pena is here. And uh, the guy is currently second in points right now as we'll make our way around here with, uh, with chairs and other obstacles in our way. But Brett Moffitt. We'll turn, there you go. We'll turn you around this way. Uh, you're kind of like uh, Kyle. You got a little bit of a gift this week after everything that happened at Greenville. So let's back up a little bit. Somebody maybe that wasn't paying attention to the K&N race at Greenville last Saturday night. What happened? Uh, just uh, an event that I really wish didn't happen. Um, we got kind of dumped getting into three there on the last lap after after leading every single lap. So um, that was really heartbreaking. But, uh, you know, like you said, we got a gift this week when uh, the 07 got penalized. And, um, you know, now, now we're only 10 points out of Kyle. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll have a good race tomorrow and win the race. And hopefully he'll finish far enough back that, you know, we'll be able to win the championship as well. Now, if memory serves me, you and Corey have had some run-ins in the past. You're starting right next to each other tomorrow. Does that play into your head at all as you start playing the mind games? Have you played the mind games with him? What? How does that work out? Uh, the, the thing is, we're both very competitive race car drivers, and we're always up front, and we're always racing each other, and uh, you're going to have run-ins. But, um, you know, it's tomorrow our goal is to win the championship, and that's it. And the car we have to beat to do that is Kyle. And, um, unfortunately, he's a really great race car driver as well, and he'll be running up front too. So um, I'm sure he'll come down to – one of us to win the race tomorrow, you know, and so hopefully it'll be me, but, um, you know, hopefully hopefully nothing happens between me and the 07, but you never know. Well, best of luck to you. Brett Moffat, currently second points. Driver originally out of Iowa. He's been in this position before, hasn't been able to capitalize. Maybe he can learn from that and win a championship here tomorrow afternoon here at The Rock. We're